I'm at the ADA center today, the off-road center, for the launch of the bike B40 Plus. Interesting vehicle, off-roader definitely. But I've got Basil Costa from Bike. He's the senior manager for marketing of Bike South Africa. Basil, first of all, thanks for a really fun morning with you guys driving these vehicles. They really are interesting vehicles. It was a pleasure. It was really a pleasure to have you here. Thank you. Great. And do you want to just point out a couple of the real standout features on the vehicle to, to us over here? That it really, you know, you've got the five bar grill over there at the front, which is a, obviously a signature now and becoming a signature of the vehicle. Correct, correct. As I mentioned, it, uh, it was inspired by the Great Wall of China. Right. Which got the five, exactly the five uh, holes as in the Great Wall of China on the towers. Okay. Now let's talk engines. Mm. You've got two engine options at the moment in the range, right? Correct. We got a two liter petrol turbo. Yeah. With 160 kilowatts. Right. And 320 newton torque. Then we got the diesel, which is a two liter as well, a TDI yeah. engine. Okay. With 110 kilowatts. Right. And manual auto, strangely, and I've got to say it because I've been yeah. saying the whole morning, where's the auto in the diesel? It is coming. Is it coming soon? Not soon. Okay. Fine soon. <laughs> <laughs> but you're going to bring it in. We will bring it. We got plans to bring it. Yes, okay, indeed. good. Because that would be my choice. I'll be honest with you. Yes. In a vehicle like this. Now you've got 210 millimeters of ground clearance. Yes. And we certainly tested it on the off road course over here today. You've got definitely off road tires on here. You've got all these things. But now, one of the standouts, as far as I'm concerned, on this vehicle is the ability to remove roof panels. And you can remove them one at a time, the different driver, sections. So passenger. Yeah. Driver, passenger separately, and then rear section separately again. Correct. Now that just talks to me. I'm just one of those crazy yeah. people that loves, I don't know if you saw, but I kept grabbing the open top ones yes, that you've got here today. Good. And it's actually quite easy, especially the front section. Yeah. It is very easy. You've got some end of the uh, hooks here and it is so quick you actually can remove it like in seconds it is amazing uh, fantastic now, i mean we in there's three different spec levels am i right yes okay do you want to just give us and this one is a this one is the city hunter okay so that's the middle spec middle spec correct. okay but you've got interesting features like the quilted red trim over here on the door correct. even the the stitches the stitches will always match the yeah. color of the vehicle on the seat on the seat well. and on the door panels yes. Board. The dash as well. You've got the nice big center screen over there. You've got, of course, interesting dual controls, dual purpose controls through a lot of the vehicle. For example, over here, you've got the engine stop start in the middle. You've got the right. control to switch from too high, four high, four low. And you've even got the sound volume for your sound system all in one. All in one. Yeah. And if you go to the champion in the same one, this side will be the sport button. This okay. It will be for the snow. Wow, okay. So that's the sport. You've also got a nice big center screen over here, which you can configure, you can change. These are all things that one comes to expect these days on your vehicles. Yes. But yes. now what I want to say is we've certainly done some off-roading this morning. They're capable. Very, very capable. Very impressive. Just give me a quick rundown on pricing. Pricing, it is starting at uh, mid 500, mid 500. Right. That will be for the entry level. And the top of the range, which is the champion, will be low uh, 600, to be more exactly 600, uh, 629,500. Right. Yeah. For a vehicle, it's big. It's a four-door. Got this big rear section over here. I actually rode in the back over here on the yeah, road I just saw, now. I saw you were having fun here at the back. <laughs> you know what? I'm not having my second childhood because I never gave up the first one. <laughs> I, I, I believe so. <laughs> okay. So that's just me. That's part of the fun of it. Basil? Nice. Nice. This should be where bike takes off in South Africa, as far as I'm concerned. You've got the product here. It really deserves to. Best of luck to you guys. Thank you very much. Thanks Thank for you. a great morning with you. Thank you. All I want is, can you please have a word with the right person to get me my test vehicle as soon as possible? We'll do that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Bike 
D40 Plus Media Launch. My name is Fusiso. I'm joined by the lovely Zipporah. And you may know us from the hit TV show on ignition, Kasi Car Culture. Now, this really is quite a rugged course. What do you say, Alan? Yeah, I'm surprised at what they sending us on right now. I mean, we've just come down a serious over a ledge uh, with some slate over there. And now we're heading into water. And they said I'm going to stop in the water, which is quite an interesting fact. So let's see what happens when we stop in the water and let the guys in front of us just move on a little bit. And I think I better just aim carefully and not run down this cameraman in front of us. Hey, I read some flies back, Jason. <laughs> Did you see that? I saw his back. He's yeah. joined us for the 4x4 adventure. Yeah, I know. He seems to quite like this car for some reason. I'm assuming I can move on now. I see the car in front has gone. So let's just carry on. This is quite a challenge. Wow! Look Whoa, at, look, look at this. Look let's, what's ahead of us, Bill. Let's look down here. This is a seriously rugged yeah. course. And slate is interesting to drive on as well, I must tell you. Uh, I think I better engage the descent control again. Which I've just done. The has been engaged. Yeah. And we take it very slow yeah, over here. Watch this. Four low. We're in four low, yeah. We're in four low. Hill descent control active. Look at this, eh? Wow. Proper, uh, proper angle proper, here. I mean, this is like. This is pointing downwards. Yeah, pointing nosing. very sharp downhill. I mean. But you know what? You know what the secret is for by four inches? Yep. Slow and steady. Slow and steady. And that'll get you through most things. And I think I better stop before. I... Alan handling it like a champ here, just cruising through it. <laughs> Come on. I didn't pay you to say that, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> Do I get my tip now? <laughs> yeah, okay. I'll get you lunch. I'll see. <laughs> Deal. Yeah. Jeez, look at this. Eh? I mean, this is unbelievable. And I mean, we're in the middle of Slate. I mean, this is Slate City. Eh? Look at it. Wow. Yeah. I mean, a massive slate quarry you in here, eh? Very impressive what this little vehicle is doing at the moment. Yeah. Well, it's not such a little vehicle, Jason. I'm going to disagree <laughs> with you there. Sorry, buddy. All right, in car number three, the red one. Hello. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so when you get up here, just wait for me, because I'm going to direct you on to the exit there. <laughs> Getting a bit of video. <laughs> Parking the wheel a bit there, yo, look at the angles. And then just taking it through effortlessly. Tackling some of the rugged obstacles here at ADA.
Jason, with me, my old friend. Good to be driving with you for once. I mean, after how long, Bill? Jeez, way too long, Alan, and it's great to be here with you and experiencing this B40 Plus. Yeah, tell me about it. Eh? So what's your first impressions, Jace? Feels like it's I'm following you. Go for it, man, please. We, we're getting passengers with us as well. We're about <laughs> to hit it on the road. We've done some amazing off-road. And, hey, this thing's capable. I've got to tell you, I'm, I'm impressed so far. First impressions for me as well, Alan, yeah. is, uh, yeah, incredible off-road, a lot of yeah. mobility. But the only thing, the two little things I, I've got to pick out. Number yep. one is the seat adjustment, which just doesn't work because I'm vertically challenged or however you want to term it. And then the traction control kicks in a bit abruptly, but I'm sure I'll get used to that. That you'll definitely get yeah. used to. And I think um, overall a lot of fun, especially this mm. roof that pops out here. So you uh, can... Oh, the headroom, the limited <laughs> headroom. You see, I don't have to comment that there's enough headroom with my hat on. No, you Because perfect, yeah. for once I'm okay. <laughs> Okay, Jace, we're going to experience it on the road now, eh? Yeah, let's do it. Cool. Thanks for driving with me today. Thanks, Alan. Okay, well, I'm doing something very different, if you can even hear me. I'm riding literally in the back of the bike and with everything open, top open. I'm in the boot area. There's, there goes one of the cars for the camera guy you can see over there now. Check this out, and it's amazing. I know it's bouncing around, but come on. It's worth it just to get this kind of picture and this kind of video footage. Alan, we're off. Yeah, we're off. Uh, Jason with me, Christo. Uh... Hello. Man, he was so off in the back. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Eric. Eric in Eric, the back over there. Back there. Camera, he, I Without mean, these camera guys, <laughs> can you believe these guys are trusting my driving? I mean, <laughs> yeah, you know, like, Christo at least can claim he's trained me along the way. And uh, we've been on enough events together, eh, Christo. Jeez. That's a fact. And Alan, you're very modest. Your driving is really modest. <laughs> okay, Christo, send the invoice. All right, I'll pay you for that one. <laughs> it's already on the way. <laughs> okay, let's hold here for a All second. Right. Hey, Christo, I must tell you, good day you guys have set up. Well done. Thank you very much. Enjoy it. I mean, ADA, I think they've actually put in a lot more uh, obstacles, courses, and sections along the way as well. That's I it. don't recall there being anywhere near as much here previously. So it's been fun. Why? He is phenomenal. He's just been taking the facility from level yeah. to level to level. And he is so accommodating. Now, Hein, uh, Let's go. He, he very graciously allows me to come here on a regular basis and I bring 4x4s four here and play with him. Correct. And we have a nice little relationship. Uh, and I just phone him and say, can I come next week on Tuesday or wherever ever it is? And I, he's never said no. No, he's awesome. I mean, so, the only time yeah. you might say, look, it's going to be a bit difficult because we close Just remember, seatbelt yeah. on, front and rear, please. Front and rear, seatbelt. And driver's licenses. Yes. Okay. That's an important thing. My license is on my phone, okay. <laughs> now, when you get yeah. to the exit, we're going right. to turn right. Okay. We're going around the block, which in uh, Honda Beer Sport means yes. it's, a, it's, a, it's a fair drive. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Well, I was going to say. <laughs> So we're going past the Upside Down House in a few minutes and uh, have you been in there yet, the Upside no. Down House? No, we knew. haven't done it. Christo, have you tried it? No, I've been meaning to for ages. It's you know, actually it's very interesting. It's everything upside, genuinely upside down. L literally, yeah, including the bathroom, so work that one out. <laughs> we'll turn right, uh, as long as the water pressure is okay. Uh, I didn't try that. <laughs> okay, now keep it slow, yeah? Okay. Yeah. Right, so ladies and gents, we're going to be turning to the right as you exit the gate. 